It turns out the man who jumped in to save a baby rolling towards traffic in a stroller was leaving a job interview. His heroics were caught on camera. This woman was unloading her car. Her great nephew's stroller starts rolling backwards towards a busy street. She's on the ground because she tried to catch it but kept tripping on her own feet. And that's when Ron Nesman jumped into action, stopping the stroller seconds before hitting traffic. And then somebody finally helps her off the ground. Ron is here live this morning. Ron, I am sure you are humbled by all of the attention, so I'm going to try not to make you blush. But you were just leaving a job interview. <laughs> you. you were in a suit, and you see a stroller. So it's just like simple. You got to do something, right? Yeah, I reacted before I even thought about it, you know, uh, and it's, it's fortunate. Everything worked out, you know, the way it did. Everything worked uh, I out? Never, I was just leaving Applebee's. <laughs> okay. I was just leaving Applebee's, and I, I believe it or not, I got the job. Woo! Go! Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations. You know, I'm sure you hugged the woman uh, who was tripping and falling and trying to catch. I'm sure she was just out of breath and just so sad, thinking, oh, my God, the baby's just feet from me and I can't get up fast enough. So what was that moment like, seeing oh, the family? Oh, it was terrible. Uh, it was terrible uh, to see the lady struggling, you know what I mean, and just... She was so traumatized when I got to her at the time. Uh, she she was just like, she was beside herself. I didn't know what to do. That's why I gave her a hug. Like, you know, Aww. if you see the video, you'll see me catch the stroller. And I, I'm trying to assure her that, you know, it's, it's going to be all right. And she was still just emotionally tore up. Aww. And so I'm, I, I gave her and I tried to console her a little bit. But it was, she's still probably still traumatized from it. You know, it was a very, very scary event for well, her. Well, those cars are moving so fast. And really, if you watch the video, you were quite a ways away and had yeah. to really pick up the speed and run to catch that stroller before it went into traffic just in the nick of time you were there to save that baby. But I want to talk about your story. You are an inspiration. Um, I have family that has been homeless. Thanks. You've been homeless. I've stayed with family. I get it. You were staying with your sister and we're looking to really yes. change your life. You were actually having this moment of, you know, I got to be, I got to pull myself up, right? Yeah. You know, I, I get to see my family. I saw my family. They were crying. I hadn't seen them in a while. And they're like, they're, they worry about me on the street. And, uh, and my sister said I could stay with her. And it was just time to do something different. I lost a girlfriend in, in 2018. I ground, downgraded my license from an A to a C because I was in no condition to drive. And I just gave up, basically. And I, I went on the street and became homeless. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, almost five years later, you know, uh, I started to work myself through it a little bit. And, you know, my family's everything to me. Just when I seen that little baby in a stroller, because I got a great nephew that, that's age, that he's that age. And I couldn't, it just, everything came together. So it's coming together for me uh, so perfect today, you know. Yeah, well, you still, provided I got work hope. to do. Hey, thank you very much, you know, and and everyone around me has helped me. Uh, hey, can I address something? If yeah. you guys see a GoFundMe page, I don't I don't ask people for money. I'll work for everything I get. I thank Applebee's for giving me the opportunity and the employment. But do not give me any money on the Internet. I'm not asking for money. I'm not going to. I, I'll work for it. So that's a scam. Somebody put that out there and it's a scam. So do not give me money on the Internet. I'm not asking. I won't ask anybody for the hard, hard earned money. I'll earn my own money. Thank you. Well, okay. Well, so thank you pay. for putting that it's out It's a scam. There. Don't do it. Yeah, there's too many people out there yeah. who are trying to capitalize on a moment or success. Can I just ask you a question? Yeah. There are a lot of people watching at home. Yes. They might have a family member, a brother, an uncle, somebody who has been on the streets and just it seems as though their life is never going to get better. But you're proof that life can get better. What would you tell those family members who are believing that their family member, their loved one, can rebound? Yeah, I, I can't say nothing. You know, if they want something different, they're going to do something different. And that's the bottom line. You know, it, it's it's up to them, it's solely up to them. I'm just fortunate my family took me in and they've always been there for me. I have a very, very, I'm very blessed in that way. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's time I start doing something right. And so I wanted to do it. And they, of course, they helped me, you know, and this whole situation's helped me. And I thank everybody out there for all their support, too. Well, that's you, very guys. kind of you, Ron. And we just, we believe in you. We're grateful for your story. Thank you for helping that baby and that family. And just like your sister gave you some hope, you gave Thank that you. family some hope. It's going to come back around to you. And have fun at your job at Applebee's. Keep a smile on your face, okay? Hey, thank you very much, guys. Have a good day. You too. Our best to you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.